All right, Wesley with ExpandCraft here again, and we are out in uh, the middle of, uh, 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 where am I, Boca Ciega, Ciega Bay, and we're just got little chops here. We're waiting to get some serious boat wakes to show off. But uh, tell us about the speed you got on this thing. Well, right now we got five out of it. That, that seems to be on the plateau of where it maxes out with the 1.3. So I that's the 1.3 motor? motor? Yeah, it's 1.3 air cool, 35cc Honda motor. And you also have a larger one. 53cc, which is about two point, roughly about 2.3 horse. So, so that's actually that's comparable to what we have here in this thousand plus dollar Honda motor. That's a, that, yeah, that's yeah. a 2.3 as well. So. So as far as you know, you can put either motor on this, you know, because like I said, the whole slice it slices. It. I mean, unlike the kayak, which are my favorite, as you know, um, it's different. It's a different experience altogether. Uh, the kayak you have to get past the torque curve in order to utilize that horsepower. Um, this is different. This one's a lot smoother. Their acceleration's a lot smoother. You don't have to get over that hump like you do in a kayak. You're basically wasting energy in a kayak just to get it moving. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. That's why you commonly have to have larger motors for them to get past a certain point. Of a little funny seeing those hulls go under the water as they pierce the waves, huh? Yeah, these, these, like I said, they cut it. And I guess with that being said, um, it, it doesn't even slow the engine down. That, that's what's right. great about it. It's, just, it just well, it's kind of why I had the wave piercing design. Right. So uh, you mentioned that you might even, on this particular, this is the six foot wide, that you might even use what I this what I use is a gas motor on the back and a trolling on the front. Right. You think you might even put the that motor on the front? Yeah, I definitely see an option for that because, like I said, then you have a clearer clearer view as you're as you're you know, moving. And like I said, you you only have a limitation as far as left and right when it comes to turning, and this turns on a dime. So I don't see why I couldn't mount it the front. Well, we're sitting here a beam to the waves. Would you stand up on a kayak sideways to the waves in these I mean, little things? Some kayaks, yes. Um, but overall, like I said, this one I have not even thought twice about like being in stick. To be honest. Yeah. The kayaks, you have to kind of really pay attention to what you're doing because you're going to clip over and there goes your rods. And the right. Well, you basically have a six foot wide pontoon boat with a center of gravity about three inches above the yeah, water line. Like I said, I have not thought twice about like going to the corners of the boat. Whereas a kayak, you don't go to the corners. Right. This, you can go to the corners and feel like you're still stable. My, my new canoe, which I love to death. Um, they're different. I mean, they're totally different animals. I mean, I can see this if you're in flats, inches of water. There's no comparison. This is you can fish off this. You can punt, you can just cruise on this. And I'd like to remind folks that you can pick this entire triple sixteen expand the craft up with the motor for less than a Hobie uh, with the pedal power. That is true. Yeah, the entire thing for less. And you can't take a Hobie apart and stick it in the back of your SUV. All right, expandacraft.com and kayakbuddy.com. Kayak buddies, that's kayak plural, buddies right? With an, S, yeah. with an S on the end. We are going to be fat friends for a long time, my friend. <laughs>